Well, hello and welcome. Um, my name is Slavka Jelinkova and I am board certified and licensed sport massage therapist. And I also teach at the dance department. I teach ballet. So I'm very excited that actually a good amount of people show up for my workshop. I don't know if you see, I, I already recorded over the Christmas, like three videos of massage of the upper shoulders, of the legs and arms. So if you are more than welcome, look at SMTD um, Wellness website. So today I thought I would focus more on like a head and neck massage because it's been almost a year when we spend more most of time at the computers and everybody, including me, we ended up with this head posture, correct? Which is very soon we will find out that we are having neck, uh, neck problem and shoulders and we are having headaches. And although we are trying to be aware of our body posture, we are not. And, you know, it's a something, you know, if we spend more than 20 hours with the head posture and two hours be thinking about how we will stay forward, that probably will not work. So I thought that I would focus on that. And I kind of calculated it will take like 20, 25 minutes. And at the end, I can open question, answer whenever you are. If you have a question, even during the workshop, just let me know. You can chat. I will periodically. Uh, look at that. I will try to explain everything, show which part of the arm or hand we will use it so you can freely follow me. All right. So if you have um, rings or watch, just take it away because, you know, we will, we will use our hands and I don't want you to scratch it. Okay, I already took mine. And let's warm up our hands because we have to get some life energy into our hands. You can either rub them or you can clap it, whatever works for you. But as we're doing a little bit, you will find out that very soon when you finish it, you feel a little bit tingling in your palms and you feel the warmth. If you put it closer to your cheek, you feel the warmth. And that's what we need to know. Okay, so let's a bit warm up more. And then we will start with tapping on the around all your hair on the head. So we will just massage our head. Because most of the time when we have a headache, we have a headache in either above the forehead, I mean eyebrow or on the top of your head. So just gently tap all over your head. Just bring blood supplies. By gently just tapping. Remember you are your own massage therapist. So it doesn't mean that it has to hurt. It just has to feel good. You know, if it's hurting, you say, oh, that feels actually good. And so like, ouch, it hurts. I cannot do much. All right. So just gently tap. Usually here is the most sensitive spot on the top. But you can take your scalp, little hair, and just a little bit moving. So it's like I take my uh, skin on the forehead. You can take in your, in your uh, hair and just gently move it. And that feels good. Now, actually, it feels good if you go like around your ear, just open your fingers like this, and then just gently you move it. And don't forget to breathe because when you take a deep breath, you start to relax, otherwise you're getting again too much tension. <laughs> good, if you messed it up your hair, you can just hold it. Good, now we will focus on the ears. So you can just, I just take my two fingers, and you just rub them between. That feels really good. If you are in the traditional Chinese medicine or reflexology, in our previous workshop, I was talking that we have all our organs and body on our hands and feet, but the same thing applied to your ears. So it's like here, it's a, like a head. Here's the, the body. And then inside of the ear are our organs. So if you massaging, especially the, uh, the earlobe, that's the, your neck. So you're actually working on your neck, even if you are not touching. So you can just a little bit rub. If you find a little bit sensitive spot, and usually it's a right here, I believe, you can a little bit hold longer because it, it hurts really good and, and you, you, you're healing your own body. And we can a little bit pull the ears up and down and then a little bit open. I know it looks funny. Don't look at it yourself at the mirror. But now your ears are red, but feels really good. Correct? 
Okay, now we will go for the forearm because we are frowning and we don't want to have any, any wrinkles. So you put your thumbs on the side on your temples. You put fingers at the middle of your forehead and a little bit you, you pushing into the skin and then pull it. So it's just going like this and a little bit pulling and I opening all my forehead. Now let's do one more time with the breath. Take an inhale, and with exhale, you open. You feel like you're relaxing. And as you go, notice where are sensitive spot. And most of the time people have just right above the eyebrow. And that's when we are usually having our, our headaches. So you can take a chest pad of your index finger and just go slightly above the eyebrow. If it's a little bit hurt, you can a little bit stop. You can do a little bit circle and massage it gently because that's very sensitive and then go a little bit further. And then you go just toward your temples. Now let's do it one more time. So take an inhale and exhale and slowly go. And that should be a little bit less sensitive. Nice. Or you can take your thumb and index finger and just start from the inside of your eyebrow and gently squeeze it and then a little bit open sideways. And again, go a little bit further, gently squeeze it. Make sure you are really just on the eyebrow. You are not touching your eyelids. Inhale. Good. Now you open. Very good. That's it. Now we will work on the neck. So we will use either these knuckles or that one. Whenever you feel like. I usually work on that upper part of the fingers. Now, we, okay, here is my uh, earlobe. Behind that earlobe, wait, wait, I have to show you this one. Okay. So here's our ear. And behind the ear is this called mustard process, all right? You find it, here's my earlobe and I go behind it, it's right here. If you see my, that big muscle, that's a sternocleide muscle, the, the, the muscle finishes right there. And we will always start from that bone, okay? So you take your soft fist, place it right behind the earlobe and we will just work on the trapezius. So we'll go three times passing down. So you place the hand, take an inhale and gently gliding stroke down toward the shoulders. And again, place it there, take an inhale and exhale and gently. So you're engaging the tissue it's a little bit like a little bit push in the tissue, but more gliding. So I don't causing myself any, any pain. Take an inhale and exhale. Now we will repeat the same thing, but instead of going sideways, we will a little bit work on the back of the neck. So again, I place my, my soft hand there, and then I gently gliding slightly to the back because that's most of the time we will work on that, on that neck. So let's take an inhale and exhale. Now make sure that the head is straight. We have a little bit of tension going away. You want to just relax those muscles. Take an inhale and exhale. Very good. So we warm up the tissue. Now we will go back to that the same spot. We will place, where is that muscle? We will place the soft, Face, and then we will go along that, that bone and the back of your skull. So we'll go this time horizontally. Okay, make carefully, start really on that um, muscle. Don't go too much to your neck. Take an inhale and exhale. You do a very good job. Those people who I see, you do a really good job. I have to praise you. Yeah, a great massage therapist. And we go back. So we warm up the tissue this way. Now we will take a two fingers 
place it exactly on that muscle process and we will just glide toward the spine. So I'm standing where my uh, hair starting. So it's just right under the scalp. I just placing there and then I gliding right under the scalp. And those muscles are exactly, uh, those muscles making our headaches. So you place it there and then you gliding on the side. I will do one more time. At the same time, if I'm working with my, okay, if I'm your mirror, th this is my left one. I will, I, will, I will turn my head the other direction. So as I added movement into the massage, I relaxing those muscles even more. So, okay, uh, if you, I don't know, Miss Graciela, if you have that hand, you're looking that direction. So, so as you will go, no, you'll go that direction. Yes, that's it, exactly. Yeah, so it's, yeah, like you're turning your head away in the direction you gliding that stroke. Yes, very well, very well. Yes, and now we will do like, like that little circles exactly on the same spot. So you just a little bit massaging that and you make a little circles, little circles. And that feels really good. Yeah, very good, very good. And again, I'm starting always at that, at that um, mastoid process at the bone, and I'm going all the way there. Very well, yes. Good. Now let's compare one side or the other. Do you feel any difference? Do you feel that the side is a little bit longer, that the shoulder a little bit drop? Mm -hmm. Good, let's go on the other side. So again, make a soft uh, fist, place it in the mastoid process and slowly gliding on the side of your neck and shoulder to the crook of the neck. So be working on the trapezius. Take an inhale and exhale and slowly gliding. Very good, that's it. And one more time, take an inhale. You have to always warm up the tissue. And this is really dry. So we're hydrating as we're gliding. And now we'll go in the back. Take an inhale and I'm going more in the back. Inhale and exhale. Very nice. That's it. And one more time. Always three times. Excellent job. Good. Now we will bring the hand on that uh, sternocleidomastoid. Place it. And with the necklace, you will gliding horizontally from the front to the back. Yes, very well. Nice. Good. So we warm up the tissue the other way. Excellent. Again, don't forget breathing. Don't, don't hold the breath. Take an inhale and exhale. Yes. Very good. That's it. Now we take the fingers and now we will glide underneath of the skull. And the same time, you will take an exhale. So the muscles can relax. That's it. Take an inhale and exhale. And this time we will add the movement of the head. So if my fingers going that direction, I'm turning my head that direction. And that relaxing those muscles even more. It, it might feel like a little burning, but it's okay. It's that's just my facial release. And one more time. Excellent job. Good. If you, do, if you would not do anything and just massage these muscles, you would feel very different. Excellent. Now we will work on that, which I already mentioned, this sternocleidomastoid. It starts from the sternum, attaches to the sternum, clavicle, and the mastoid process. So you again take a soft fist, you're just gliding gently and make sure you really stay on. Okay, first of all, let's everybody like turn your head kind of forward and you, you will feel the muscles right there. Okay, so you take it very gently and just thinking that diagonally in front of your, of your neck, just gliding toward your sternum, just very gently. Is the muscle which causes bring the head forward. 
So we just gently, we will sliding forward. Yes, very good. And one more time. Because we want to lengthen the neck. We don't want to make it shorter. Good, and we'll go do something on the other side. So we are not lopsided. Take an inhale and exhale and gently gliding. It doesn't need to have much pressure, just engaging those tissue. And again, I'm using these knuckles. So this is the soft fingers when I'm placing on my neck and then just gently gliding. Yes, very good. Very good, excellent. And last time. Inhale and exhale. Very good. Now we will take your fingers of both hands, place it on the both places of the sternocleidomastodoid. What we will do, so we sitting nice and straight, correct? The spine is at the middle of, of the head. So our head can now like this. Yes, yes, no, no. So we will do the same thing. So I engage the tissue, I slightly pull up and I was slowly nodding my head. Slowly nodding my head. And the fingers is tendential a little bit slide up. That's okay, let them slide. That means that the tissue is relaxing. Just make sure your head is nice and straight. If you get slightly too much behind your ear, just place it back on that bone, that mastoid process and try again. That's it. Very nice. And now let's the slide the fingers behind your ears and actually completely above your ears. So I'm going behind and I pull up the tissue all the way above my ears. I love it pull on my hair, but it's okay because I want to really lengthen the neck. Yes, very good. And laughing on the neck, I just put one hand like this and the other one above it. And I place it in the back of my neck. See, I have one hand, other hand, and then I take the inhale and I lift the tissue, lengthen my spine and just relax. And again, slightly squeeze and lift, take the inhale and exhale. And what does it do? A lengthening all the spine, all the fascia from the spine. Take an inhale, squeeze and lift and relax. And again, gently squeeze and lift and relax. And last time, gently squeeze and lift and relax. Good, now relax your arms and notice how you feel. We have much more range of motion, correct? Oh, we should have checked it out before. Yeah. All right. Now let's take your one hand and just squeeze. Okay, if you lift up your shoulder, you will get this, this rope muscle, which is trapezius. You can either hold it like that, or you can just squeeze it like that. So using the heel of your palm, whenever it's stronger. So just lift up your shoulder, grab the, the muscle, relax your shoulder. Now gently squeeze and turn your head the other direction than you working on that muscle. Good, now move the hand slightly more laterally on your shoulder. Again, you gently squeeze and then slowly turning the head to the side. Let's regain one more muscle. Gently squeeze, take an inhale and exhale. Turn the head the other direction. Yes, very good. Let's go on the other side. So, so I lift my shoulder. I find that muscle, relax my shoulder, squeeze it, take an inhale, exhale, and I'm turning the head away. At the same time, taking a long exhale. Good, that's one more time. Squeeze that muscle, inhale and exhale, turn your head away. And last time, you feel how the muscle is softening. Take an inhale and exhale. Very good. 
Now you can move a little bit to your shoulders and you notice that you have much more range of motion. All right, yes. All right, now we will work on one, one more thing and I will show you. So we will find where is our clavicle, which is collarbone and we will massage it underneath of that collarbone. And then we will go in this, this little sticking bone, which calls coracoid process. So we'll massage it there and then we will work our, work our finger on the other side and we will massage it right, this call is spine of the scapula. And we will massage it slightly above the spine. So we can help, our shoulders are like this. Everything what we do, we do front. And we will massage these two places. You will feel that you actually much more open your shoulder. All right? So just find your clavicle. And after, they go under the clavicle and go slightly to the side. You will feel there's a little, little ditch. Okay, now take two fingers and go slightly underneath. See how I'm going? Okay, if you lift up your shoulder, you this is my clavicle. I'm going underneath, I'm relaxing my shoulder and I'm a little bit massaging that. There's a tiny muscle, but very powerful. If it hurts, go gently and just gently, I just massaging that like this from side to side. All right. So we will just relax that so the, the clavicle can go down. Now we will move slightly. If you keep going along the clavicle, you'll go to the corner and you will hit a little bone it sticking out. If you move your shoulder forward, you will feel the muscle pops in, pops into your muscle, uh, into your fingers, correct? So just relax your shoulder and massage it there. They are, it's an attachment of three muscles but all three muscles are powerful enough to rotate the shoulder forward. So just gently massage it there. It can be sensitive, so be very careful. And now from there, we will walk over our shoulder and I'm going in the back and the, the, the spine of the of the clavicle is like right here. You will find it's like a very hard bone. Do you feel it? So walk a little bit up. So we will not be on that bone, but we will be above the bone. And then go slightly to the corner of your shoulder and massage it again this way, sideways. And that can be very sensitive too. There's another, so one of the rotator cuff, supraspinatus muscle. Each, each holding the shoulder up because we all have shoulders up and slightly rotated forward. Somebody more, somebody we more, less. So you're massaging there. All right. Good. That's really tender. And now we will go back to the clavicle. You place it in front of your clavicle and you will slide along the clavicle to lateral side, but you will turn your head the other direction. So it's like you're pushing the chest and the shoulder in the back. And again, place it underneath, take an inhale and exhale and slowly turning the head away and opening the shoulder. And one more time, again, take an inhale and exhale. Good. Now I would like you to compare the one shoulder you just massaged with the other one. Do you feel like the shoulder is really, really open? Just much, much more than the other one? Yeah, that's it. And I think even that the shoulder looks, it's, it's lower. Very good. So let's go for this one. So we tap, we find the clavicle. We go almost into the corner, go underneath of the clavicle. And then we gently rub it underneath. Now make sure you, uh, once you find the spot, you relax your shoulder, okay? So it doesn't go really deep. If you really don't go completely, but just a little bit, and you just sideways massaging that, that's it, good. You find a sensitive spot. So be gentle on you, that's good. Excellent. Then when we relax that, we, we go a little bit further, and we will hit the curve heart process, the bone. Again, if you a little bit move the shoulder forward, oh, there's the, the muscle. Okay, relax and just gently, again, this way or little circles whenever you feel good to massage it. 
Just make sure the other one, which you already relaxed, that you are not going back <laughs> to the posture, the wrong posture, correct? You want to sustain it. Yeah, that's good. Excellent. I'm sorry, I go a little bit faster because I'm running out of time, which I didn't know I would. <laughs> so now we're walking over the shoulder. And now you find somewhere that, that, that bone, the spine. I have it here. So I'm, this is my spine. So I'm going slightly above it. And then I'm relaxing my shoulder. And I'm just massaging from side to side. Yeah, that's it. You do a really good job. All right, and last part, we will go again underneath of the clavicle. Take an inhale, gliding underneath to lateral side and turning head away. And I say opening and giving your brain message. Okay, now you can open the shoulders. Take an inhale and exhale and keep the shoulders open. This is the correct posture, the healthy posture. And I will be here. I will stay like this for a long time, not just today. And tomorrow, take an inhale and exhale. And I stay open. Okay, now we can compare both sides. If they feel the same or one is more open than the other one. I feel good. I hope you feel good too. <laughs> well, so... That's it. That's that's the like the, the easy part how to how to massage. You know, when you feel a little bit tired, you spend too much time at computer or something going on, you can just go ahead and just a little bit massage it. Now you know where are the places. And most of the time it's right here under the scalp. It's just like it's always so tight because of the head posture. And now you feel everything is nice and open. I will thank you for participating. You were really great. And I really appreciate that you came and spent 30 minutes of your day with me.